Know, O oh prince, that between the years, when the oceans drank Atlantis and the gleaming cities, and the years of the rise of the sons of Ares, there was an age undreamed of, when shiny kingdoms lay spread across the world like blue mantles beneath the stars. Hither came Conan, the Sumerian, black-haired, sullen-eyed, sword in hand, a thief, a reaver, a slayer, with gigantic melancholies and gigantic mirth, to tread the jeweled thrones of the earth under this sandaled feet. So guys, what's going on? This video is going to be a review for the two newest runs of Conan. Marvel Comics uh, just reacquired the license to Conan. And they actually uh, they have two runs going on with Conan, and then they have a third series that's just set in the Conan era. So we have Savage Sword, and we have Conan the Barbarian. And you know, uh, Lift and Dad loves Conan. Okay, hey guys, what's going on? Before I get into the review of the two runs of Conan, I wanted to touch on uh, how true to my heart Conan is. I've been reading Conan comics since I could read. Since I was probably five years old, I've been reading Conan comics. And it's one of the first things that I learned how to read. My dad used to read it with me. My brother used to read it with me. We used to read Conan's together. Uh, so this is just some of the credentials so you kind of know what I'm talking about. A uh, few people can uh, catch me, <laughs> know more about Conan, the mythology of Conan, the the theory of Conan, the life lessons of Conan, like uh, I know Conan. So, uh, you know, just, I don't consider myself a collector, but I do have a lot of Conan. So this is kind of the ones I grew up on. This is the original Savage Sword of Conan series. I love these. These are self-contained uh comic books yeah each one has a, a full story in it they're black and white uh, this is probably early 90s late 80s and then when I was a kid so they had the Savage Sword run and then they had uh, Conan Saga and I want to say they had uh, a few other runs but these are the two that I read when I was a kid uh, sometimes they had overlapping uh, stories but most of them were self-contained stories if they did overlap uh, you could still just buy one read it know what it was talking about and be good uh, the only real complaint was that they were uh, black and white but the artwork was great uh, violence are great I mean just the the paneling and the framing was great everything about those uh, two runs were just amazing put out by Marvel Comics some of the first comics I read got me into reading comics, uh, loving comics, and really I've read very few comics since then that can even uh, hold a candle to those uh, original Conans. Uh, some that came out later, uh, you got King Conan, and uh, these turn into color. I want to say these were more like early 90s, and uh, they turned into color. Uh, they were okay. They had some uh, other runs of Conan like this too. I don't want to break out all my uh, Conan collection. Uh, these colored ones, these were more traditional comic book style where they had a story that would go on and on. You'd buy them each month. You, you couldn't just like jump in and start reading. You had to try to get number one or try to figure out what would happen and get them in chronological order uh, for the story to make sense. And then uh, this is like probably early 2000s. This was, uh, there's a big gap between Conan, probably at least 10 years. Uh, these these uh, colors were colored comics were still made by Marvel Comics, so Marvel uh, didn't do nothing with the license for years, and they ended up uh, selling it to Dark Horse Comics, and Dark Horse Comics just had one run. They just called it uh, Conan, and these were uh, pretty good art. Uh, again, you know these these did kind of have an overlapping, but it was kind of like a rewrite of some of the old. Uh, Conan stories from the original Marvel run and Dark Horse kind of made them a little like more darker more gritty and uh, They were okay. I kind of felt like they uh, Lost some of the heart that the original Conan's had but they definitely uh, There was some love there in that project and I collected I probably collected I don't know 
15 to 20 uh, issues of these Conan. So they weren't terrible. They were just were not my thing. I guess there's really three main series running right now that star Conan. Uh, the first one I picked up here is uh, Savage Avengers. And you can see Conan right there. And so in the main uh, Marvel uh, Universe... Uh, Conan got to the future. I guess he was in another team up with the Avengers, but uh, recently he's found himself in the Savage Land, uh, kind of trapped there, and he's trying to rob a, a jewel. And there's like a cult or something, and they're uh, trying to get great warriors there to, to sacrifice him uh, for whatever reason. And uh, he ends up with a cool fight in uh, this one. He ends up uh, fighting Wolverine. And I guess in the second issue, it should be coming out, uh, it's, it's June 2019, it should be coming out here in a week or two. Uh, the Punisher ends up uh, coming and he teams up with the Punisher. So, I thought that was okay, uh, but again, it's not really just a strictly Conan uh, series. So, to me, there, there wasn't enough Conan, although it was cool to see uh, Conan kind of hold his own with Wolverine. Uh, so if, if you enjoy Conan and you enjoy Conan in the, uh, the modern day Marvel Universe, there you go, pick it up. Conan's one of the only characters that I know of that has been owned by uh, almost every big uh, comic book producer. He was originally owned by Marvel and then he went to uh, DC, or not DC, he went to Dark Horse for a while and uh, kind of a few years back he was uh, teaming up in DC there's a few team ups where he teamed up with Wonder Woman and uh, even like Batman and stuff which I don't have any of those but now he's back to Marvel so Conan is teaming up with everybody uh, I'm glad to see this res resurrection of Conan-esque interest because he really is an amazing character so Savage Avengers number one uh, I'd give it I'd probably give it four out of five stars uh, it was good, but again, not enough Conan for my liking. A lot of focus on other characters. Okay, the next series we have is Savage Sword of Conan. And they're about uh, five issues deep. Here's the second one. Third one. Fourth one fifth one and uh, I think they come out uh, every two weeks or something like that uh, Savage Sword used to be my favorite Conan title when I was a kid uh, this one is not like the old ones where uh, each magazine each comic book contains one full story this one's a continuous story you have to try to get number one and you have to try to uh, read them in chronological order for it to really make sense it's like a bigger building story but uh, I want to say they wrapped up a pretty good story about like in number five or something uh, on the fifth one it kind of finished uh, the main story which he was after this treasure uh, and a wizard was chasing him and he ended up burning the treasure and so then that wraps it up that that full story but it took five comic books uh, each one is uh, five bucks so it costed 25 bucks to uh, figure out how uh, Conan ended that story and like I said I, I loved it the writing was good the art was good uh, I will say there wasn't as, as much dialogue as I would have uh, cared for in a Conan comic it was a lot of uh, action and a lot less dialogue which uh, you know part of what makes Conan Conan is his uh, witty quips uh, as he's facing imminent danger he always has a uh, a smirk on his face he's always never f scared to face danger face death fight demons fight wizards and uh you know there wasn't a lot of that dialogue i was kind of missing that but overall it was definitely good i liked it better than i liked the dark horse uh series or about maybe about the same so uh i give savage sword of conan the first five issues i'd probably give it four out of five stars and I say my favorite new Conan title for last. This is Conan the Barbarian. Uh, these ones are, well, the, how many are they in now? They're one, uh, two, three, 
four, five, six, and so uh, these ones are closer to the old uh, format. Uh, I saw these online and I asked the guy at the comic book store. This is like Conan when he's uh, king and it's kind of like him rehashing his old adventures. And I don't want to like spoil it too much, but there's an overlapping story about when he's old King Conan. And then there's uh, one-off stories about when he's uh, having these reliving some of his old glory days as a king. And so it's a really cool uh, format that it's got this overall connecting. But then also, if you just picked one up and read it, you'd also get uh, that one story of uh, Conan's life story, his his best times, reliving his glory days, if you will. And these were much more true to the original Conan's, where it's one-off. There's a lot more dialogue. You can really see Conan, his, him being clever, him having... Qu uh, clever quips and comebacks and uh, laughing in the face of danger and never backing down and you really get a lot better feel of who Conan is in these comic books so if you had to pick one Conan run to start reading I would recommend uh, Conan the Barbarian uh, that's is by far uh, the the best written uh, the the most truest to the original source material uh, that you're gonna get so I hope you guys found that interesting give me a thumbs up if you like Conan leave a comment about Conan leave a question about Conan and uh, I'll try my best to answer it like I said I'm, I'm pretty scholarly when it comes to Conan I've been reading the books the comics uh, you know the movies kinda like its own thing uh, I'm excited for the new Conan movie coming out with Arnold, but although I do think that that uh, 2000 whatever remake starring Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa is a great Conan, but that script was terrible. So uh, leave a comment in there if you'd like to see another Conan uh, movie starring Jason Momoa. Give him a second chance. Give him a rated R script. That's what I'm talking about. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Pick up some of those Conans. See you later.